Hi guys and gals out in YouTube land, it's Miss Beverly. I'm coming back at you for the final wig review of the evening. And um, this time, uh, this is my first Motown Tress wig. So, I usually don't buy their stuff because I think they're overpriced. And all their pictures on all the girls, um, most of the time, look so wiggy, it's unbelievable. So, uh, but I found this at my local beauty supply store, and I thought, you know, I, I mean, I'll give them one try and see. So, um, the wig I got is Cabana. Cabana in a color number 4F30 and the 30 is really pronounced in this one. Let me show you guys this. Um, just a second. Shit. Is this stuck to the freaking hair? Oh. Um, Let's see. Can you guys see that? How, like, let me see. Uh, see, you like, you can see this giant strip here. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm going to put her on, so, you know, we'll see. Shit, I just should have taken the tags off, you guys. I forgot I hadn't even done that yet. I haven't haven't worn her or anything. Um, crap, Ola. No picture uh, with this one. Uh, damn, these suckers are on here too. No pictures with this one, so um, I have no earthly clue what she was supposed to look like. Um, but, you know, considering the fact that all the pictures I've seen online of these wigs, yeah, forget it, I'll take them off later, um, you know, uh, I really doubt that, you know, I'm going to get much out of the pictures. So, uh, no combs in this girl. Um, she does have a skin, a skin part. I don't know. It's super dark. I'm not sure you can get much out of that. But uh, no, no combs. Just the adjustable straps. Uh, here's what she looks like. I do like these long, you know, kind of loose waves. I really, really like that. Um, so let's toss her on. I mean, we're not going to know till we do. So I'm look at my mirror here. Okay. Well, you know. Yeah, you know. Okay. Um, it has a. I don't want to say it's a bang, but it has. Um, you see, kind of the swoop there. Definitely doesn't look as wiggy as. Um, you know, a lot of them do. Let's see. It's situated here. Okay, so here's the length in the front. I've got the tag still. <laughs> um, I will pull my hair out. Um, around uh, the periphery of this wig um, because uh, because of it has because uh, it has this longer bang kind of thing I don't know if I call it a bang but because it has the longer around the front I can get away with pulling a little bit of my hair out you know I try to really stay away from the wigs that have um, 
uh, that are kind of like all one length uh, because you know if I pull my own hair out um, around you know uh, the front of it and they're all one length it's so so obvious that it's a wig you know <laughs> um, this one um, the color uh, you know, I mean, you guys can kind of see how these uh, stripes of, I mean, it's essentially streaks of 30. Uh, you know, I guess, I guess it could go for realistic, um, since they do chunks of highlights. Um, the hair is, is really pretty soft, it really is. Um, not a lot of tangles in it, despite the fact that it's um, curly, so... I haven't ever worn it. I'm run a kind of well. That's the tag. It doesn't count. But I can run my fingers right through it. And that's a nice thing. It's not you know tangled right out of the box. Uh, let me show you guys the back. And here's kind of the side look here. And then here's the back. Let's kind of flip it for you here so you guys can see. I kind of wish these wigs had at least a comb in the back, you know? Uh, just a small comb even in the back to kind of help keep it from riding up. Because my own hair is short, I mean, I can put it in a, you know, a small ponytail in the back. Um, but I mean a very small ponytail. So, it, you know, the wigs don't really have anything to latch onto when they don't have any comb in the back. Yeah, it irritates me to no end. Um, so, you know, I, I like this one. I do. I like this one. Um, let me see what the name of this thing is since there was no picture. This is Motown Tress Cabana. Cabana, that's what it was. Cabana, K-A-B-A-N-A. -A -A. Cabana in a color number uh, 4F30. And um, I do like the color too, I really do. Um, I pulled my hair out around, uh, around the sides and um, yeah, I think this one's gonna be a keeper. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe a sco shiny. I might have to throw on a little cornstarch um, uh, to kind of dull that down a little bit, but not too bad, not too bad really. Um, I like kind of how the bang flips back. I kind of like that look. Um, so, uh, yeah, you guys, um, it's a keeper. I got this one from my local beauty supply store. Uh, she was, uh, th let's see. Oh, shit, I forgot. Oh, shit, and now I'm having a brain fart. I believe she was $42.99. And which is, you know, it's all right, I guess. Um, and it, it's a nice look, you know. I mean, I'm hoping because it's, it was a skosh pricier than some of the other wigs I get, uh, that it's not human hair, um, that, you know, it'll last a little bit longer. So, you know, we'll see. <laughs> the jury's out yet. I, this is my first Motown dress, so... Again, uh, this is Motown Tress's Cabana. Um, I do recommend her to you guys. I think you'd really like her. The style is great. The hair texture is great. Uh, and she doesn't look as wiggy as all their pictures always do of the girls that model their wigs. <laughs> you know. Um, so anyway, uh, you guys stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to come back at you. Uh, I'm going to try to think of a great some kind of contest that we can do um, for this new uh, lace front I have since I've now gotten to 50 subscribers thank you guys thank you guys so much it's great um, stay tuned I'm hoping to uh, come at you guys again I did another Rocky trading haul with some shorter styled wigs um, I had some requests to do some short wigs so um, I, I found some on there to try out. Uh, maybe they'll be here next week, hopefully. Uh, so stay tuned, and I'll be back at you guys real soon. Please share your 
comment your thoughts, and subscribe. Okay? For now, rock on. Bye-bye.